So guys, welcome back to the series. We are in Muscle Works in Orpington. Um, this is a pretty sick gym, to be honest. We just had a look around. I've never trained here before. Pat's training before. Training before Pat's training. Before Pat's training. So I'm training with Pat today. So this is my training partner, Pat. Um, we've got legs today, so it's going to be a good session. Um, looking forward to taking you guys through it. As always, sort of as we go through the session, I'll talk to you a little bit as to why we do certain things, and but mainly we're just going to get stuck into the session now. So I hope you enjoy, it, guys. Four, they've got four hat squats. Four hat, imagine having four hat squats to pick from. That's nuts. So we're just starting with an adductor machine. Um, we've got a Cybex adductor here, which is pretty cool. So what you've got to think about with when you go into different gyms and things like that is that every little bit of kit is going to be a little bit different. Every new bit of kit you're using is going to be that little bit different. So you've just got to approach it with a little bit more caution and just remember that whatever you're normally hitting on your adductor machine, for example, that's not necessarily going to translate to the new bit of kit you're using so you just take your time do plenty of feeder sets warm up make sure you're fully warm before going into that set but the thing with adductors is it's something i like to start my sessions with um getting them nice and warm and, and making sure they're mobile and ready to go it's just going to help you with your compound movements like your presses and your hatch squats and things like that yeah. Yes, come on. Yes. That gets really heavy, really, really heavy fast, mate. That's got calf pains already. I haven't got calf pains. I haven't got calves, in fact, <laughs> at all. Calves, <laughs> I, I think I need calves to have some veins. Sure my calf, our veins, mate. To be fair though, Pat's legs are shredded, like peak off season. Mine have only just started coming in. How'd that feel? It's one of those ones where you start off in a couple of places and think, this is actually really easy, I'm going to stack this, and then it gets heavy quick. <laughs> so we've done the adductors, top set back off. Now we're going to go and uh, move on to a lane leg curl. The thing with Cybex is they do know. The thing with Cybex is they do know how to make a good bit of kit. So like with this, with this leg curl, you see like the bend in the pad. 
And what that essentially is doing, any lay leg curl that you see that bend, it's just accommodating for hip flexion. So the, the best position for your hamstrings to contract is actually putting the hips in a slightly flexed position. Because what it does is, if we think about the opposite to that, you see some leg curls are just flat. When you lay yourself flat into that position, you may have noticed yourself, when you get those hamstrings into that shortened position, you'll notice that your hips start to kick up. The hips actually kick back. And all that's happening there is the lower back is actually essentially trying to contribute towards that hamstring contraction. So if you come away from a leg curl and you can feel your lower back and not really a hamstring, that's just the setup of the machine itself. So here you can see we've got that natural bend in the leg curl and that's just making for a more sound contraction for the hamstring. That was way ahead of what you were doing. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, really, man. There's me chatting away and Pat's over doing it. Pat's over here doing his top set diet. This happens a lot. <laughs> so first set is 10 to 14, so we do like a priming set. They're all to fail, but we do like a priming set. Then we go heavier and do like a, a loading set where we do less reps. And then we do like a back off set where we do the most amount of reps. So we're doing three, three different sets. If you train here and you don't have big legs, then you need to question the training. It's unreal. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. 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 As you're doing each rep, you can just feel the tension in the hamstrings. You know, you never lose that tension. And you just build up and just accumulate that fatigue throughout the set. You finish the set on that, you, you know, we've stopped one set and the hamstrings are fired already. And that's just down to the, the quality of the machine. So, anyway, we're gonna go for top set now. So, six to nine reps. Let's go. Nice and slow. Good. Consistent stimulus that we're looking for. So we keep those reps uh, 
immaculate from the start to finish. Like that. What we've done with the hack is, hack's a brilliant movement, but for me it's one that I couldn't do for years because in that position it's a very, there's a lot of demand on the knees in that position of knee flexion when you're in the hole. And for me personally, I just couldn't do it, I couldn't progress on it. So we reverse band on it, we reverse band it. So when you're getting into that position of knee flexion, we actually drop off load. About 20, 25%, not a massive amount, but it just makes the resistance profile of the movement much more applicable to the body's biomechanics. So since doing that, since progressing on the hat squat over the last two, two and a half years, I've noticed that my legs have responded massively. So for me, this is a movement that I would never, never leave out my back. main movement of the session. Um, top set back off, first set's five to eight, back off set's 10 to 14. And uh, these are the movements that are gonna really, really make the difference at the end of the day, you know. There's only so many of these movements you've got across the board in a week, so you've just gotta make sure you put everything into them, you know. We've done the isolation work. This is the stuff that's gonna, uh, gonna make a difference in the day. So you take as many feet of sets as you need, get your mind in the right place, prepare yourself for that top set, and then just put everything into that set, you leave nothing. set that like, is some heavy metal or something like that a lot of the time it is but white snake here I go again this is my jab <laughs> so this is the set so we put your song on you put your song on you get your head in the right place and you just fucking unleash everything you have Fuck. Heavy, innit? Oh, man. That's lovely. 
That's really nice. Yeah. Doesn't give you any shit, does it? It does actually. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, fuck it. Oh. So uh, at this point we're just accumulating fatigue. Obviously it's still loading work, but we're just trying to create more of a metabolic stress on the legs. Uh, so we're gonna do some feeders, warm into it, and then it's just one ball set.
a positive band in it, so we're making it we're making it harder in that position where the quads are gonna be stronger it's basically. So again we're just lining up the strength profile of the legs, which is basically where your mechanic is strongest and weakest. So when we get into that position and we're pressing through the movement in that mid-range of the muscles and the quads, we know that we're gonna be reaching where we're basically strongest. So those red bands are just gonna to start to kick in and make it harder. So a lot of the time when you're doing a leg press, you'll find it actually starts to drop off near the end. This just means that as you're pressing to get harder and harder. So again it's just more applicable, it's not better, it's just a more applicable
Session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back next week for uh, the third training session in this series. As always, guys, any questions or anything like that, drop them in the comments box below. Um, if you enjoy the videos, if you enjoy the content, um, 
don't subscribe to the channel, feel free to uh, drop me a subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'm done. I need to go home and make a lavender and yeah, hope you enjoyed this one guys. And, uh, we'll see you in the next video.